In web development, a polyfill is downloadable code which provides facilities that are not built into a web browser. It implements technology that a developer expects the browser to provide natively, providing a more uniform API landscape. For example, Many features of HTML5 are not supported by versions of Internet Explorer older than version 8 or 9, but can be used by web pages if those pages install a polyfill. Web shims and HTML5 shifts are related concepts. Origin The term originated with Remy Sharp who required a word that meant a euro or replicate an API using JavaScript if the browser do us a euro unregistered trademark to have it native value euro while co-writing the book introducing HTML5 in 2009. Shim, to him, meant a piece of code that you could add that would fix some functionality, but it would most often have its own API, thus did not fulfill Sharp's terminology requirements. The terms progressive enhancement and graceful degradation similarly did not meet his needs since they didn't specifically require, nor were they specific to, JavaScript. Sharp decided upon the term polyfill that can imply filling in missing browser functionality and using any number of techniques. Polyfiller, a paste used to cover up cracks and holes in walls, was also a visualization that Sharp found fitting for the term. He has received feedback stating that the a euro o word should be changed a euro, but the term has now grown more popular amongst web developers. Sharp intentionally did not promote the term widely, only using it in specific cases and believes that it received a large amount of exposure after Paul Irish directly referenced the term in a presentation months after its inception and was helped become popular due to modernist a euro o e h t m l 5 shims and polyfill a euro page. Function, polyfills allow fixing issues with a browser's API or adding interfaces that haven't been implemented at all. A polyfill is a shim for a browser API. Typically, a developer will programmatically check if a browser supports an API and will load a polyfill if the API is absent. This allows development to proceed as if the API was native to the browser. An example of this is browser id which relies on a JavaScript API which is not supported in any browser and must be provided via a polyfill. Polyfill differs from a shim, in that it can be removed without any changes to the rest of the code once the unimplemented API it substitutes for is properly included in the browser. Examples, HTML5 shiv, in IE versions prior to 9, and known HTML elements like in would be passed as empty elements breaking the page's nesting structure and making those elements impossible to style using CSS. One of the most widely used polyfills, HTML5 shiv exploits another quirk of IE to work around this bug, calling document create element, tan name for each of the new HTML5 elements, which causes IE to parse them correctly. It also includes basic default styling for those HTML5 elements. Prefix free Though most polyfills target out-of-date browsers, some exist to simply push modern browsers forward a little bit more. Libero's prefix-free polyfill is such a polyfill, allowing current browsers to recognize the unfixed versions of several CSS3 properties instead of requiring the developer to write out all the vendor prefixes. It reads the page's style sheets and replaces any unfixed properties with their prefixed counterparts recognized by the current browser. Selective is Keith Clark's Selectivism is a popular polyfill that makes many CSS3 selectors work in IE8 and below. It reads the page's style sheets looking for a number of known CSS3 selectors, then uses a JavaScript selector library to query the document for elements matching those selectors, applying the styles directly to those elements. It supports several JavaScript selector libraries such as jQuery. Flexi Possibly one of the most anticipated features of CSS3, flexible box layout promises to be an extremely powerful tool for laying out interface elements. WebKit and Mozilla engines have supported a preliminary draft syntax for years. Flexi implements support for that same syntax in IE and Opera. However, the draft spec has undergone a drastic revision to a new syntax, which is not yet supported by Flexi. Flexi can still be used along with the old syntax, but the developer must make sure they include the new syntax for future browsers as well. CSS3PIE, 
PIE implements some of the most popular missing CSS3 box decoration properties in IE, including border radius and box shadow for IE8 and below, and linear gradient backgrounds for IE9 and below. Invoked as a HTC behavior, it looks for the unsupported CSS3 properties on specific elements and renders those properties using VML for IE6-8 and SVG for IE9. Its rendering is mostly indistinguishable from native browser implementations and it handles dynamic DOM modification well. JSON2, Douglas Crockford originally wrote JSON2.js as an API for reading and writing his JSON data format. It became so widely used that browser vendors decided to implement its API natively and turn it into a de facto standard. JSON2.js was transformed from a library to a polyfill after the fact, as 5Shim, ECMAScript 5th edition brings some useful new scripting features, and since they're syntactically compatible with older JavaScript engines they can mostly be polyfilled by patching methods onto built-in JS objects. This is 5Shim polyfill does it in two parts, as 5Shim JS contains those methods that can be fully polyfilled, and as 5Sham JS contains partial implementations of the other methods which rely too much on the underlying engine to work accurately. Flash Canvas Flash Canvas is an implementation of the HTML5 Canvas API using a Flash plugin. A rare commercial polyfill, it comes in a paid version, as well as a free version, which lacks a few advanced features like shadows. Media Element JS John Dyer's Media Element JS polyfill support for and elements, including the HTML5 Media Element API, in older browsers using Flash or Silverlight plugins. It also provides an optional media player UI for those elements, which is consistent across all browsers. Weeshims Lib Alexander Farkas's Weeshims Lib aggregates many other polyfills together into a single package and conditionally loads only those needed by the visiting browser. References External links A list of polyfills providing HTML5 facilities, from the Modernis project, HTML5 polyfill list by feature, what are polyfills in JavaScript?